Okay, here's a brief explanation of how the, the beam from the Orford Ness Lighthouse uh, is blocked by a guard on the rear of the lighthouse and, and this blocks the light falling onto the town of Orford. You'll see here there's a path that runs from the lighthouse and this runs directly to the town. Um, and you can see that this uh, the, the guard on the back of the lighthouse with a couple of notches cut into it uh, that that stops uh, the light uh, for a few degrees either side of the town uh, falling onto it. This yellow cone is representative. Here's a larger view, um, and you can see there, very approximate that, that, that that's roughly where the, the light is blocked. Off to the left is the the landing site. I've, I've called it the encounter zone. Um, it's the alleged landing site. And in this shot, um, you can see a 180 degree pan. Um, I'm standing about halfway down that path. And spin the camera around 180 degrees. There's Orford. And off to the left, quite a long way off to the left, you can see the approximate area of the um, landing site or the encounter zone, as I now call it. And in this 3D rendering, very, very approximate again, this shows how the beam will sweep around and then be blocked as it comes inland. Um, even even with this wide blocking that I've, that I've done here, you can still see it's still viewable from, from the, the landing site. And that explains basically why, why that is.